Hello everybody, my dear brothers and sisters, it's really great to see you in the next episode of the European Reactions on Punjabi TV. I hope you are guys doing very well today. Uh, if you would like to share with us some information about you, how are you doing today, please leave your comment in the comment section. We really love to read your comments, not only with suggestions and not only with appreciation uh, and ideas about content, uh, but also just whatever you want to share with us. We really love to be in touch with you and we read every single comment you leave us. So if you do it, be sure we definitely will read it. If you are here very first time, I am Mike and welcome you to Punjabi TV. Before we start watching uh, our today's video, I would love to thank our beautiful sister Farhana Tariq for suggesting us something very interesting. Farhana asked us to react on something from Drubinsky and there we go. Guys, this is also information for you. If you have your favorite YouTuber or traveler but you are not sure which video you should suggest us, you can just share with us uh, information about this particular person, so we for sure will choose something for you. Hamara channel ko zyada se zyada subscribe kare or support kare. Now, let's watch. Good morning guys from Islamabad. Sadly, it is my final day in Pakistan after an incredible two-week trip. Mm -hmm. Deanna and I traveled with an awesome crew from Karachi to Lahore to Islamabad to Peshawar to Kashmir and I've been blown away by what I've experienced. Pakistan is already one of my favorite countries in the world. We're walking through one of the busiest streets here in Lahore. It is amazing. It's so many things happening. You don't even know where to look. In Pakistan, when the men greet each other, they do this. How hug, shake hands, Oh. Trust me when I say that it's not at all what the media makes it out to be. Here are 10 things I love about Pakistan. <laughs> One, hospitality. It's amazing. Everyone's like so friendly and saying hi to me on the streets. Man, this place is cool. This is how I will remember Pakistan. Their curiosity, warm smiles, and open arms. Aww, they will not let you lovely. pay for anything and they will always treat you with respect. Oh yeah, and you will get tons of <laughs> gifts. Two, English speaking. So I'm born Karachi, I have Chinese nationality. Whoa. I do not look <laughs> yeah. at all. Given that Pakistan was under British occupation for 200 years, many people that you'll come across can communicate in English. Hi guys, my name is Anam and I'm a traveler from Pakistan. This allows me to connect with locals on a deeper level level we're brothers and it just allows travel in general to be easier three tea culture hot milk tea or chai is consumed oh i love chai guys day. first thing in the morning last thing at night and after every meal or if you go to peshawar they drink this green herbal tea and it's amazing Four, style. This is called a shavar kameez, is a traditional Pakistani clothing worn by both men and women. And Whoa. also the traditional hats. They change depending on the region you visit. And of course, the open toe sandals. Five, beards. I can't believe that seemingly 90% of men have beards. Not just small or clean cut ones. I'm talking about massive long beards and I'm digging it. Six, truck art. Pakistan is Whoa. notorious for its colorful art on trucks. That I trucks. didn't know. It has evolved over the decade to include poems, symbols, and icons of their culture. Seven, it's cheap. In my opinion, Pakistan rivals Bangladesh for the cheapest country in the world. You can get that a massive is good for lunch like this for less than actually, three yeah. US dollars or a haircut for 70 cents. And the best part is that you don't have to pay cash. There's an app called Easy Pesa where you can just swipe your phone and that's it. Eight, incredible nature. Pakistan wow. has every kind of landscape you can mm. think of, including beach, desert, and seven of the ten highest peaks in the world. It's incredible to drive around this country and just gaze out the window. Nine, cuisine. I found Pakistani food to be an equal mix of Persian mm. and Indian, which makes sense because it's located right in between the two nations. Lots of kebabs, naan, and yogurt, as well as curries, biryani, and lassi. 
10 gifts. This is for you. So many gifts. Fact, I've never received so many gifts before in my life. So I have like 10 gifts. I don't even know how to bring it on the plane to Lahore. People going out of their way to give me something special just because I came to their country. It's unbelievable how generous the people are in Pakistan. Okay guys, this is my last video in Pakistan. I've had an incredible trip going all over the country and I love it so much that I'm already planning my next trip back soon. Apka bahot bahot shukriya. Me vapes aunga. Allah hafiz. Pakistan tourism is at that cusp of exploding. It's a question if we can just get rid of that top layer of ease of you know commuting, ease of tourism, which we want to create of getting around, you know, and creating basic infrastructure for people like yourselves and others that can. Um, that can you know commute without having too much of know-how of the country and of the people. So you can come alone with your with your partner or your friend or whoever, and you can and you can get around and you don't need to know a thousand people. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world. That video was really really lovely, uh, pretty short, but still. I enjoyed it very much. A lot of positive energy here and a lot of smiling people on the streets, you know, shaking hands with this guy, hugging uh, him. It was really, really like you watch and I was, and, and I was like, oh, <laughs> that's so lovely. People are very, very, very positive in Pakistan because he was also showing locals for sure. And I really love it. About these things, I some of them I already already know about, for example, cuisine. Um, actually, I believe, at least in my part of Europe, uh, Pakistani cuisine is not so much uh, so much famous yet. Uh, but still, I had a, this great opportunity to taste Pakistani cuisine. I am also really huge fan of your cuisine, guys. I really love it very much. About hospitality. I've had it plenty of times, like everybody who has somebody like as a friend here in Europe, Pakistani person or somebody traveled to Pakistan, everybody first thing ever, always, they say Pakistanis are incredibly hospitable. That must be true. If everybody around me is telling me that, I can see it in YouTube, uh, my friends are telling me that, so I believe, I know it must be true. After, I think, food, he spoke also about uh, tea culture in Pakistan. D during the video also I told you guys I really love chai and I really do. It's First of all, it's tea, but it's different tea than we drink here in Europe. Even if you are drinking tea with milk in Europe, you don't add to it, you know, spices and some additional ingredients. So for me, chai tastes really, um, maybe not different at the moment because I already tr drank a lot of it, but still I, I really love it and it's d different than we have it uh, here. So yes, for sure. Uh, but I would love to also go to Pakistan and drink um, chai made in Pakistan because if you are ma making even chai in Europe, most of the time your ingredients are also from Europe or they are, you know, imported here if we don't have them here. So, you know, sometimes that the truth is what, what you have in Pakistan, like, you know, spices, cinnamon, cardamom, lemongrass, yeah, we also have them in Europe, but uh, I had also opportunity to taste cinnamon from Pakistan and there is no comparison <laughs> with European, completely, no. You know, sometimes when you import stuff from very long distances, they, they can lose their favor uh, yeah, um, taste because they are in you know reacting with uh, with air or something like that, especially spices. So that's why I really love to go uh, to Pakistan and uh, try chai made in in Pakistan to you know to experience the full taste of this drink. Okay, guys, that would be all for today. Thank you very much for sharing your precious time with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did and I hope you enjoyed my reaction on it. If you did, please let us know in comment section. Leave comment uh, for us because we read all of them. Also, you can subscribe this channel and hit the bell 
it will give you opportunity to be notified about every single video we are posting here on YouTube. Also, if you want to stay in touch with us for a longer time, in description of the following video, you will find links to our social media. So you can keep us in the, this tiny place in network where you spend the most time. So guys, take care of yourself and see you in the next video. Bye bye.